Let's explore the solution to number seven on the 2024, Amy. Find the greatest possible real part of this ginormous complex number with magnitude four. So let's just say z equals a plus bi. And therefore we have now have 75 plus 117i times a plus bi plus 96 plus 144i over a plus bi. So now we don't want complex numbers in the denominator. So first thing that we should just do right off the bat, multiply this by a minus bi and the bottom by a minus bi. And this is equal to, you have a nice copy and paste feature here, copy and paste. It's equal to this. And now we can make this denominator just a squared plus b squared just by difference of squares. So. And now the key idea here is most of these terms or half of these terms are, comp are imaginary. So we just focus on the real terms in each expression. So the real terms in the first expression are 75a and then minus 117b because i times i is negative one. Over here, in the top part, the real part is 96a. 96a and then minus or plus 144b. And then all over a squared plus b squared. Now, what is a squared plus b squared? Since the magnitude is 4, so we have square root of a squared plus b squared is 4, a squared plus b squared is just 16. So we get that, and that's pretty cool, because now this is equal to 75a plus 96a over 16 is 6a, so that just becomes 81a, and then minus 117b, well, plus 9b, so minus 108b. And clearly, we can just factor out a 27 from here. So 3a minus 4b. So now the problem is basically saying, maximize this quantity, given that we have a squared plus b squared equals 16. And there's many ways to go about this. I believe there's also should be a way using amgm. Uh, but I'm going to show the solution that I did, which is <laughs> taking the derivative. So. Most of, I'm guessing most of you are familiar with calculus. So we have b equals the square root of 16 minus a squared. So we substitute that in and we'll multiply by 27 at the end. We'll leave that for now. Minus four times square root of 16 minus a squared. Now this is maximized when the derivative is zero. We take the derivative, we get three minus four times one over two times square root of 16 minus a squared. And then we also multiply by negative two a. So now all we, all we have, or I, never mind, this should be negative half, negative one over root two, because the derivative of square root is just negative one over two square root, right? So now we just can cancel out these negatives. We can make that a plus. So when is this going to be equal to zero? Because that's when the thing is maximized, right? We just, we just solve it, right? We have three, three equal to, 8a over 2 times square root of 16 minus a squared, which is 4a over square root of 16 minus a squared. So therefore, we have square root 16 minus a squared equals 4a over 3. We square both sides. We get 16 minus a squared, 16a squared by 9. And therefore, we have 16 equals 25a squared by 9. 4 is 5 thirds a. So a is 3 fifths times 4. That's 12 fifths. Okay, so a is 12 fifths. We can easily sub to get that, or b is negative 16 over, b is 16 over five or negative 16 over five, but obviously we want negative 16 over five so that this thingy is bigger. And now it's just simple. We plug it in 27 times 36 over five plus 64 over five. The inside part is 100 over 520, so 540, and that's our answer. So nice use of calculus, and it's, if you know calculus, this makes this problem kind of simple just by taking derivatives. Hope you enjoyed this video.